time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. High Octane Anime Action is the name of the game in Relic Knights. Mount up in your mecha and battle for glory at our Relic Knights Hub on beastsofwar.com. Hello, you're about to watch a Let's Play. These games aren't normally filmed with a games creator, so we're just going to warn you in advance that during these games, we can get quite excited. We might either get rules wrong, or we may well have changed some of the rules because we just love hacking games. Mm. Anyway, if whatever we do, please take a moment to comment and hit like and subscribe because we want your feedback. If you've got constructive criticism, if you spot something that isn't right, Please take a moment to comment about it, because we are all over that. Right, enjoy the game. Hi everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play, and today we have a prototype as. So what have we got here? Oh man, Lords of Hellas. So we're going Greek mythology, we're going to have Zeus, we're going to have Achilles, we're going to have Perseus. We're going to be battling over a realm, trying to see essentially who can claim all the glory. I have to say, these look a little bit more techy than Greek mythology. Yes. Is, is there a, a sort of sci-fi twist on this game? Exactly right. So this is kind of, we're kind of looking back in the mythos as if we didn't really know all the history and perhaps it was like alien tech or some kind mm. of outside influence from another realm that was maybe ah. affecting this. And that's where everything has this fantastic technical cyberpunk look to it. If you want to have a little look at some of the models, we can go through who we're playing as. Uh, yeah, yeah. So first off, I have Perseus on a, a Pegasi. So... Oh, the Look detail wings. wings. That yeah. is so crisp. And I think it's came out of the box like this. I'm not sure once they, you actually get the game in your hands if it'll have it like this. But if it does have that pre-shading on, that's going to be so nice. Yeah, with very little work, that's come up super nice. Mm -hmm. um, All right, uh, so you're playing blue. A, I'm playing as Achilles, yes. Yeah. So we'll be represented by the blue models. We will have Hoppolites and Priests. You'll see on the board as we play. But mm -hmm. this is my hero Achilles, who actually has, obviously, a very nice blade there, which is actually underlit by a flamethrower, so you can get that nice burning red if you're oh. into your painting. Yeah, um, yeah. White hot blade to cut up the enemies. So Very cool. And then John. John, um, I am playing Heracles, uh -huh. I believe. I'm going to really try not to call him Hercules this game. I will yeah. probably do it once or twice. <laughs> it is really just two different ways of saying the same name. Let's, <laughs> let's be honest here. If we mess up pronunciations, we apologize. We are from the UK. We do not really speak the, the original <laughs> Greek language very, very well. Can I, can I immediately point out to you, Heracles and Hercules are two different people. Are they? Yes. Okay, that I didn't know. Okay, <laughs> okay who are they? Smart man. <laughs> well, oh, Hercules no. is one of, God, one of the Zeus's sons. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sounds right. Let's go with that. And Heracles is someone else. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll run over the board a little bit just before we yeah, get started. A couple sure. of things I really want to point out to the guys. So this is the massive map we're going to play over. Mm. We do have our own character boards, but most of the action is going to be taking place on the board. Mm. You will notice that there are shrine and, and, and temple logos on the board and also city, but we are actually blessed because of this prototype. It's still unreleased at this blessed. stage, going to, going to <laughs> Kickstarter. Yeah. We have some of these lovely cast well, so we have cities, we also have... Here, I can grab some of these. Yeah, so let's that's, have a look. that's the cities, which are quite nice looking. So you can perfectly play the game with the symbols on the board. Yeah. But through the Kickstarter, I believe you'll be able to get hold of these as well. And mm -hmm. I think they, just, they really lift yeah. the game. And All right. Well, we have a couple of other things here as well. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. So these are the temples. Okay. The, the temples, first of all, you're going to see um, eight of these that can be built on the board by the heroes. And these are going to give you different ways to control the board with priests and mm -hmm. worshipping the gods that are on the board. Yeah. And initially with this game, we'll see the shrine. There's just one of these. This becomes a real hot point. It gives you two priests rather than one. But we'll talk about that as, as that comes through. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think maybe show one of the monument bases. I don't want to, I don't want to give anything away because I think this is a part of the game I am in love with. So if you want right. to show the bottom um, of this one. All right, now, don't worry. Mm. This is complete, complete <laughs> miniature when it's done. But for right now, uh, yeah, this is how yeah. it will start. So we haven't game. failed to build this beforehand. No. Great thing about the Lords of Hellas is you're going to have monuments that over the course of the game are going to build up from tier one, as that one is, mm. up to tier five, stage by stage, and give you this lovely lifting 3D element on the board mm -hmm. as each of the monuments goes up. And each of the monuments for a different god give you different statistics so you can build up your hero in different ways mm -hmm. and a bit of versatility to the play. So you're going to see that as we play through. Yeah. Now, uh, important question. How do we win? Well, 
four different ways to win. Mm. Again, I think I love about this as well. So on the board, if you want to have a little top down view, you'll notice there's a bunch of different regions. All these different regions are, are broken up into essentially um, Provinces. These are yeah, provinces. These, these are populations. So each, each one is named, and there's a population there that you basically want to get hoplites in to take control of that region. Mm -hmm. And if you manage to take all the regions of one color, that's a land. Mm -hmm. And if you manage to take a second region of all one color under your control and have two lands, instantly win the game. Okay. So mm -hmm. you've got area control. Okay, so we can go for a land grab. Any others? You've also got monsters, which we'll see as the game evolves, and we'll have a little look at those. Mm. If you slay and your hero goes mano or mano, or lady of mano, Mm -hmm. uh, you you take down three of the big demonic monsters. Mm -hmm. You're going to win that way too. Okay. We've also got That's two. Yeah. We've also then got the monuments. So as I mentioned before, they go to stage five. Mm -hmm. If you actually get one of the monuments to stage five, we're mm -hmm. going to trigger an end game condition where basically the person that controls the most cities. Mm. will take the win. Ah. So that's the city on the board. So you've got a, a secondary land grab that you can actually time, which mm. is a little bit different from the traditional territory control, which mm. I absolutely love. Fourth win condition. Uh, the fourth way to win now, if you have a little look in the map, as I mentioned earlier, you have these shrines where temples can be built. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is we'll bring them in from the board and start to populate the map with them. If at any point any one hero controls five of those temples, ah. you're going to instantly win the game as well. I see. Okay. So not only do you have the territory control of the lands, mm -hmm. you also then have it for the cities whenever the monument gets built to full. You also then have the option of controlling temples, but they're built by players as and when you want, so you can do mm -hmm. that in the best way that suits you. Cool. Or you can just hunt down the monsters, take them one on one, and slay three before anyone else will win that way. Yeah. That's all going to be done while doing quests, mm -hmm. while having events take part, mm -hmm. while having wars of hoplites go against each other in great yeah. battles. It's going to be awesome. How do we begin? Well, this is something I really wanted to show off. I, I, we've set everything up here, as you would as if you're going to play, mm -hmm. but the event deck is going to change how every single game starts, mm. which is just, I think, a really nice customization. What we're going to do then is from this deck of events, we're going to draw eight cards, mm -hmm. and those eight things could be monsters, they could be quests, they could also be myths, mm -hmm. which involves a little bit of voting later on in the game and can change how things are happening in the current mm -hmm. world, but we avoid the myths for now. We just discard them for now. Okay. So let's see what we've got. So would you like me to pass this to you? Uh, yeah. So I'll we've got that. a quest. So the quests are, this is Caledonian Hunt. Okay. Uh, so as you can see down the side of this card, you have uh, three stages to the quest. And where it sits on the board, if I remember correctly, okay. is here. Just up here. Yeah. And there are three little circles beside it for your hero to actually go through each stage exactly. of the quest. Yeah. So if we grab, the actual, if you go through the quest tokens there, uh -huh. this uh, Caledonian Hunt actually is specifically relevant to the uh, Athonia, Atolia, Atolia. Atolia region. <laughs> as, as I said, we may mispronounce names here. So okay. we now know there's a quest there. If you move so your hero there, yeah, yeah, you can then start completing this three steps of the quest mm -hmm. as long as you meet the criteria that the quest sets, and it will give you a reward at the end. Mm -hmm. So that okay. was our first. We've got, we've got seven more to go. So now, aha, I'll let you grab that. But uh, So this is a monster. This is a monster. So um, we have managed to draw the Minotaur. Let me grab or is it him. Minotaur? Uh, basically, this is a monster which shows up on the board, and it tells us where he shows up, which yep. is down here. In Crete. In Crete. Well, before I pop him on the board, check mm. out his arm. Yeah. <laughs> and if I'm right, this is a uh, an exclusive for the Kickstarter, I believe. I believe so. This again it is a prototype game, so mm. this I'm not sure 100 if that specific mm. model comes with. Yeah. And um, but we got it a little bit ahead of time. Yeah. Always lovely. He it's does have oh, look, it, the, like the way they've just gone. We've ripped up his arm off and given him a big tentacle claw. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's crazy, yeah. If you want to have a look at this, this is the Minotaur's ah. corresponding damage right, sheet. I'm not sure if I can fit this, but I'll that's try. Okay. Even if you just get the picture perfect, that's ah. fine. Because that will show us he's got five wounds. And whenever you mm -hmm. decide that you're going to go on a hunt and your hero is going to try and take down one of these monsters, mm -hmm. it's those five wounds with the staffs, the axes and the swords that you're going to have to work through to take mm -hmm. him down. So okay. we can pop that on the table to keep track. We'll pop him. You pop him in Crete, please, John. Yep. Yeah, um, I assume this is discarded. Well, we'll keep track of that just for talk sake, because what can happen mm -hmm. is the monsters can actually evolve. Ooh. If you come across the Minotaur again in the events deck, mm. he's actually going to get tougher. Ah. He could gain abilities. He could get harder to kill. Right. So it's good to keep track that we've got one. If we see another, it could get bad. Okay. So that was just two cards. We've got six more to go. This is for the setup of the game. So this is a myth card. I'm going to go ahead and discard this. We don't do anything with the myth cards in the right. setup. So that's yeah. fine. We can get rid of that for now. Yeah. Uh, we have another monster. I'll let you show okay. that. So it's... Uh, Maybe just go with the mini even might be. Uh, well, yeah. Let's go with there. the mini. So a lot of you will recognize this particular mm -hmm. character from the old legends. This is Cerberus. So Cerberus was the, the guardian of the gates of hell. 
And I believe it was Hades' daughter that cared for it, I'm not sure. Good knowledge. I, I try to remember these things, but, you know, most of the time, well, I mean, like most of everybody out there, unless you're really into it, the most you're going to know about this sort of era is you're going to watch Disney. Yeah, I'm fine with being corrected on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so but it's he, a really nice mechanical dog. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it's it? really cool. I don't know how that chain's keeping him down. Um, yeah. so, so he's going into Epirus, again, denoted by his card. So he's mm -hmm. in here, so we have monsters on either end right now. Uh -huh. So that's, that was our fourth. Yep. So fifth card, we have another myth, which again would kick in later, but because mm -hmm. we're in yep, setup, we'll we don't worry about it. We then have another quest. So Expedition for the Golden Fleece. If you'd like to grab that from the quest tokens, this is going to go into Arcadia, which is just Over here. here. Uh, oh, it's sorry, Ar Arcadia. Ah, yeah, not perfect. It's exactly Arcadia. So it goes down here. Yeah, that will go on to it. So we have up to three active quests at any given mm -hmm. time. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got seventh card is another quest. Yep. Um, so this is the Cattle of Jirion. Um, so this is going into Boatia here. Mm -hmm. You pop mm -hmm. that down there. Okay, so I'll go here, yeah? Yeah, lovely. I'll okay. just move off the name and we've got the So we've got stuff happening all across the board, which is nice. Yeah, so you've got two monsters, obviously, that are random. There's a whole range of monsters they do, from Medusas to Hydras, all your traditional mm -hmm. you know, things you'd expect, um, but obviously cyberpunked up slightly and technology-fied. Um, I quite like the look of that. Yes, I do. We've got one last card, uh, mm -hmm. I believe. So we want to... Yeah, one last card. Please. Yeah. Okay, so it's another myth, so that's okay. We're going to yeah, go ahead we'll and discard ignore that. Ignore that. So what I'll do is shuffle the events deck up now, put these discards back in, and so mm -hmm. we now have a custom monster, custom quest set up. Mm -hmm. um, this, at this point, we we'll probably want to start thinking about where we're going to put our heroes. I'm starting, I think we'll start with, your, with yourself, Justin. Oh, uh, okay, I'll start. So um, pop your hero down into a region of your choice, hmm. and then we'll get ready to go. All right, I think the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to here, because, as you've said, the the regions we need to take control of, I assume this is how many hoplites I need here exactly. to actually take control of the area. Yeah, so each region has a population cost that you're going to need to have hoplites in to take initial control of that. Afterwards, though, you'll be fighting back and forth. Okay, so I am... where am I? Uh, so you've just popped your guys, your first starting setup into Locris. Locris um, or Lothris. Yeah, what are the two? Right. Lockers will go with. So if you have a look at your each end of a character is asymmetrical, has slightly different traits. Mm -hmm. So you actually have a starting bonus if you want to just read that out. Uh, take the legendary hero token of the same color of your starting region. So okay. I'll grab a the yellow one here. Yellow one, yeah. Okay. So that's used for one of the special actions we'll come to later, where if you've gained like enough renown, enough glory, if you're so well known for your heroic presence, you can actually essentially usurp entire regions and just push enemy armies out of your way as a oh. single hero. Okay. So having that early gives you potential kind of power for later. Mm. Other heroes would have to basically complete quests mm. or kill monsters to get one of those. Okay, cool. So, uh, John, where do you want to pop? Right, Heracles. I think Heracles is going to go way down here in the south. Mm-hmm into here. Yeah, so one thing we haven't mentioned, um, this bottom territory here, you might note, yep. has a slightly yeah, bigger city than anywhere else. I'll turn that around to face yeah, a yeah. bit, Tad. And that's because it's a harder region to get higher populace, has a five population to start. Mm -hmm. However, that's actually Sparta. Mm -hmm. And if you recruit hoplites there, instead of getting two, you're going to get four Ooh. once you've got control of that region. Yep. So yeah. it's kind of the military end of the scale. We can see what John's already planned in his yeah. <laughs> Um Okay, so I think for myself then... Oh, sorry, I should mention, don't forget the starting bonus then for him, please. is plus one strength. Yeah. Okay. So we all share a stat of leadership, a stat mm -hmm. of strength, and a stat of speed. Mm -hmm. Leadership is basically how well you move your hoplites. Yeah. Strength is how well you heroes fight and battle against monsters. Mm -hmm. And speed is generally how far around the board your, your miniatures, your heroes specifically, can move. Okay. So they're going to increase over the course of the game, depending on what gods you worship. Mm. I, oh my goodness, so this is tough. I think it's kind of rock and a hard place. You guys have kind of got monsters top and bottom, you guys top and bottom. I think I'll drop into uh, Arcadia. I'm going to hop into this quest initially. And what we all need to do as well is pop two hot lights oh, right. with us. And that's going to be our starting armies. Oh, that means then I've already taken control of this. Yeah, once your turn starts, essentially, you're going to gain control of that area immediately. Ah, so it's only when the turn starts. Except, okay. Yeah. All right, so we've all deployed. Now what happens? Now we start to play. Okay. Um, so on your turn, if you'd like to start off, Justin. Okay. Oh, sorry, no, forgive me. I was last to play, so I actually get to start. Oh, okay. Following the rules, I should not hamper myself. Uh, and do we do counterclockwise? We then? do clockwise. Clockwise? Okay. The player turn is basically built up into two stages. You've got regular actions and then special actions. Mm -hmm. Your regular actions are pretty straightforward. You can move your army, 
-hmm. You can move priests once you have them, and you can also move your hero. Mm -hmm. You then have six special actions, which you'll see as the game goes on, and you take one special action on your turn, and then it passes around. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we'll kind of just learn it as, as we go. Um, I'm going to gain control of this region because mm -hmm. it's two population and I have two hoplites there. Mm -hmm. The quest there then is the expedition. I'm going to have a quick look. So to complete this quest, I would need a leadership of two mm -hmm. to get to stage one. I would also need a leadership of two and a speed of three to get to stage two. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would need to go one stage further. I need to get a leadership, a speed and an artifact to actually complete the final stage of that mm -hmm. quest. So that's pretty difficult, but I already start with a speed of two because I am Achilles. Mm -hmm. So getting another leadership might be the first thing I want to do. To up your stats, you want to get priests. Mm. Priests, you want to get them to worship at the monuments. Mm. Those monuments are going to boost your stats. So let's see how I can get myself a temple. Is there a temple on that region, John? Can you see? Uh, not in there that one. No. no. So I'm going to need to consider moving some of my hoplites somewhere where I can get a, mm. a, a temple. So I'm going to use my move army action. My leadership is one, which means I can move one hoplite. Okay. Um, I've no priest to send, which is fine. And my hero is actually fine where he is just at the moment. Mm. The special action then that I'm going to use is I'm simply going to recruit. So I'm going to take one of these little tokens, which basically mm -hmm. says I've used my special action for this round, yeah, yeah. pop it over the recruit, and any cities I control are now going to give me two hoplites. Okay. So, so it's any cities you control give you two hoplites from each or just two overall? Two hoplites from each. So ah. if you had four cities, it'd be two, 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 and two. Got it. Spread, spread over. So I'll pop two hoplites in here. And what I'm going to do is put one of them Mm -hmm. Inside, I love this about the models. I'm going to actually essentially garrison one of those hot bikes inside. Mm -hmm. That means if I am attacked, if we have a battle in there, I'll get a plus one bonus because essentially he's using the city to his defense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's my special action and my regular action done. So now it's round to Perseus. Okay. Um, what would I like to do here? So I can move my army. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll start by doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do up here in the north. I'm going to move one of my hoplites into here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that'll do. Yeah. I have no priests. My hero, I think, is going to go to here. Yeah. For one. And then I have my special actions. So the special actions I can do. Oh, I also for, almost forgot. I control this area. Yeah. So we have the little counters where essentially denote control. Mm -hmm. um, and they will change as the game goes out. If you leave a territory undefended and someone sends even a single hoplite in, they'll take that from you. Yeah. Um, what would I like to do here? I could recruit for two. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think, yeah, that's probably a wise idea. I will just recruit okay. for two, and that'll let me do my thing here. There we go. So that's two more guys in there, yeah. and I have to mark that off. So that special action is used for this one. This one, recruit. Okay. Yeah, and we can only do these once in the round. Exactly. Until the round ends, yeah? Yeah, and the round has a variable ending. So, John, if you want to start off, I mean, what I'll just explain very briefly. Mm -hmm. There's six special actions. The seventh one is build a monument, and whoever does that essentially ends that round, mm -hmm. which means we'll clear off all our special actions ready for the next round, mm -hmm. but we'll also trigger some priests mm -hmm. spawning for the person that does it. We'll also have some monsters acting. Mm -hmm. And so, basically, it starts to kind of let all the other stuff on the board take in, but we'll see that as we finish the first round. Okay. Yeah. Well, my round is going to be pretty simple. Because this uh, region I'm in needs five, mm -hmm. yeah. I only have two, so I'm foregoing normal actions, and for my special action, I am going to recruit. In fact, no, I can't. Can I? Yeah, you don't control this city yet, but you can use city. prepare. I can use yeah. prepare, so I can recruit a hoplite. Uh, you can get two, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Because yeah, it's so. choose any two from the list, so for prepare you can heal a point of damage, draw a combat card, recruit a hoplite. And you may you may double. I may yeah. double that, so I'm going to recruit twice. Uh, yes, bring four into there. Okay, lovely. And that's it. All right, cool. cool. Things are going to get complex as we start to build up. We start to spread out. Things are going to get interesting. Mm -hmm. So, regular actions always first. So I will move an army, and my leadership is one. So one hoplite will move into here, which is mm -hmm. going to give me control yep. of this territory because it is a population of two, and my two hoplites are there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any priests just yet to move, and my hero again because I wanted probably to do that quest later. I'm going to keep mm -hmm. keep there for now. So for my special action, I will use the build a temple action. Mm -hmm. So because I now control this area that has a shrine mm -hmm. uh, just here, that's exactly right. Um, I will, John, if you wouldn't mind, please grab one of the temples for me yep. and pop it right over there. Building a temple straight mm -hmm. away gives you one priest okay. into your priest pool. So yeah, you start with six. But you have to actually build temples to get the priests into your pool. And then once they're in your pool, your regular actions will let you move them onto monuments. Mm -hmm. And because that build temple was a special action, that's the end of my turn. Okay. You, uh, for myself, 
Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have one of my hoplites move in here to take control of this area. I'm basically copying what you're doing as. I think it works. Uh, not really going to move my hero because I want to sort of keep this defended. I can maybe push people out here and make sure I take that later. And for my special action, I will build a temple. So I'll mark Love that it. there. I will gain a priest into my pool. Mm -hmm. And a temple goes down. Fantastic. That's it. Okay. John, what have we so, got? Yeah, John. Heracles. Uh... <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's tricky. Going for the five early, a bit risky. It is, yeah. It'll um, pretty much be round two before you can really get that. Um, yeah, yeah, so I mean, you could always build the monument early to end the round early if you really wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, or you could try and just use your movement and maneuvers to expand out and grab somewhere else quickly while you've got the four. But I can still only move one at a time, so... Yeah, move lets you move one at a time, but your special maneuver would let you do more. That's true. And of course, you guys are all blocked together at the minute. Yeah. yeah. So... What I will do mm -hmm. is move one mm -hmm. out to here mm -hmm. for my normal action. Mm -hmm. right. For my special action, I'll move army mm -hmm. and take the other three okay, yeah. and throw right. them ah. next to Nice, turn. okay. So you'll take control of that then? Yep. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okie dokie. I can see you two guys dusting it up a little bit. Yeah, now. it's already. We've left you with a lot of space behind you. I'm not too mm. fond of. As we pointed out earlier, we have three monuments on the board. If you want mm -hmm. to come down, we have one here, we have one here, yeah. and one there. So we have Zeus. So, Zeus. Zeus is here, yeah. Athena. That's right. And Hermes, yeah. Go ahead. I never would have got those right. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all level one currently, mm -hmm. which means initially we have a little reference card that will tell us how many uh, basic stats they're going to give us. So mm -hmm. Athena gives you leadership, uh, Hermes gives you speed, and Zeus gives you strength. But as those monuments build up through the levels, you'll not only gain stat bonuses, but also cards or movements or recruitment on top of that. Yeah. So I think what I'll do, I'm trying to think what's going to be crucial. It's looking like I might be in for a battle soon, possibly. Um, but I'm going to go Athena, actually. So mm -hmm. would you mind popping me over? What, yeah, I'll and get it. The priests go right in to the little kind of prayer spot on the monument, which is awesome. So that means there's only two slots to be used in a turn That's for them. it. And if they are full, you can't worship there. Mm -hmm. um, so Athena will give me one leadership. I'll move that up on my little counter. So I'm now two leadership, one strength, and two speed, thanks to my starting bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my move. That was my sending my priest to monument. Mm -hmm. uh, my army movement then, I think we're probably going to look, my leadership now being two, mm -hmm. I'm going to move one hoplite. Mm -hmm. And a second hoplite. Ah. Uh, actually, sorry. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Because you take fine. control of it. Yeah, so I'll take control of that area. Okay. And think. Yeah, that works out fine mm -hmm. actually. Um, I think I got a little bit lost. The map is so detailed. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, so that was my move. My hero, probably still fine. However, I now with the quest, the expedition. Its first step was to have a leadership of two. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is use my hero's movement to basically lift my hero off the board and pop him down on the first step mm -hmm. of the ex expedition quest track. So beside the quest card that we've drawn mm -hmm. randomly from the event stick, I'm now on stage one of that. To get to stage two, I'll need to get a leadership of two and a speed of three. So I need another speed mm -hmm. before I can get up that next stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, uh, my turn then? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do here is I need to expand out a little more. Oh, sorry, forgive me. I actually didn't use my special action yet. Ah, apologies. apologies. No, no, no. I uh, I actually was willing to give it to you. Just just fine. Um, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and... Uh, uh, I think I'll just prepare. Okay. So for that, I think I'll take two combat cards, please. Okay. Now, we'll talk about these a little bit later, but these are going to come in both whenever heroes fight against monsters mm -hmm. and also when your hoplites clash as well. Uh, so they so. actually have a double, double usage. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep those in my hand. Okay. So uh, for myself, what I think I'm going to do is I need to consolidate a little bit here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. What I'll do is I'll move him one to here because mm -hmm. I only have the leadership of one, yep. which is fine. Uh, I do have a priest. Okay. And where would I like to go with this? So I could increase the speed of my hero, increase my strength, or get some leadership. Yeah. So taking that second slot. Yeah, taking that second slot, but going up that leadership, I think, is going to be crucial to actually get my guys moving about yeah, the board and doing absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. And for my special action, I'm actually going to end the round on us. So, so you're going to build the monument? I'm going to build the monument. And okay. I'm going to build on Athena. Okay, so let's let we'll go um, straight away and let me see. Let me grab Athena's next layer. Mm -hmm. Now th this is the thing: the the monuments do build up in their layers, 
So I we have her. That. There you go. Okay, so and this should just pop in. I kind of like the fact that you're doing this. I love the game. it. Yeah. So there we have Athena's up to the waist now. So. Yep, and if we can grab them, we're going to remove our priests away. Mm -hmm. So they, they are essentially out of our pools now, they've done their worshipping, yep. and we'll have to recruit them back to our pool again if we want to use them next round. But, yeah, because I'm the one who built the monument, mm -hmm. I get a priest for each monument I had, yep. so I will gain one back instantly. Yeah, exactly, because be you're, you're controlling this temple. Yeah, I have a, a temple right, right here. here. Yeah. Now it's only me that gets that as far as we can tell exactly from the rules. Right. Yeah. Uh, because that's the way the game's designed, yeah. and I can I can quite live with that. See, I'm I'm wanting to get Athena up and on the go because I think it'll be very useful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, pro again, just to say, prototype rules. We're still kind of getting a feel for it ourselves mm -hmm. even as well. So uh, do forgive it's not exactly the same as the final product. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we essentially remove all of our used action tokens from our special actions. Yep. And now we have a bit of fun. Now you, Justin, because you built the monument, get to roll. The monster dice. Ah, so I get to see what the monsters are going to go up to. So, which one would you like to do, Cerberus or the Minotaur first? Let's go with the Minotaur. Okay. So, right down the front here. Yeah. So, see what I get. So the dice uh, has a few, attack. Yeah, the dice has a few different options. It can attack, it can move, or it can mm. do nothing essentially. Or move and attack. Uh, or move, move or, or attack. attack. Yeah, the, the person rolling it does get yeah. to choose. Okay, so that did nothing. So we'll yeah. go to there's the no, back there's no board. one around. So just it's worth noting. Sorry, just before I tried to attack again. Oh wow! So nothing. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. So it is worth noting each monster does have its own individual region attack. So for mm. example, Cerebrus is his kill three hoplites. Mm. There's no one there. That's fine. No, is it Cerebrus or Cerberus? I oh, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. Cerberus. 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 Yeah, isn't it? Cerberus. It's, it's Cerberus. Yeah, I think it is. Um, the Minotaur says destroy one hoplite and one priest from the portray from the player controlling the region. Oh. So even if there's not a model in there, they can potentially have negative effects on you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the different monsters you're going to get, there's a bunch of different models and cards for it, are going to change the game every time too. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. Okay. Uh, right, well, uh, in that case, I'm done. Yeah, so just before we finish your turn, we actually have a new event card. Because you built ah. the monument, you essentially called the end of this round. Ah. I'm going to see what happens. Do you want to flip over the event, John? See sure. what we get? Let's have a look. Uh, <gasps> ooh, what ooh. we get? We've got a monster on the field. Yeah. Oh, so the Sphinx is going to turn up. Yeah. yeah. Where does the Sphinx come in then? It says at the top. Uh, see in the very bottom corner there where John has oh, those three it? lovely hoplites? Oh, no. Right down there, mate. <gasps> It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. And Sphinx again has her own specific card, which yep. tells you her special attack, her region. Uh, no. This is actually a Sphinx Evolve card. That's okay. Because it's the first Sphinx we've drawn, mm -hmm. we're going to bring the Sphinx instantly into play. Uh -huh. If we do get the Sphinx Evolution card, it's going oh, to still evolve. the Sphinx Draw card? Yeah. Okay, yeah. then it evolves. Okay. Exactly. So as soon as you have two, the Evolution kicks exactly. in. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, so, John, your turn. Three monsters on the board now. Yeah. Do you maybe want to get those Hoplite to run away? No. <laughs> no, they'll be fine. Okay. Um, they're Spartans, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Three of three. That, that could these could represent thousands of people. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is annoy Az mm -hmm. and do a standard move up to here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stealing I have, the region. Yeah, I have no hot lights there. You don't need to reach the population count. You can simply now just take that straight away. Mm -hmm. And replace with one of my own, which means mm -hmm. I've got a temple for free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I think for anything else, do I want to move my hero? No. Uh, I think from a special action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build another temple. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm going to build a second one, and I'm picking up this one, which now triggers something different. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to go ahead and pop that, where are you building that down there? Down here. So that's the third temple we've had built. Mm -hmm. At different stages along the temple track, you're going to basically see a draft blessings option. And what's going to happen now is we have a deck full of Zeus, mm -hmm. uh, Athena, and Hermes blessings. Yep. They're all shuffled together, and we're going to draw four off the top. You draw enough for each player plus one. Yeah. Because John built the temple, he gets to look at all four mm -hmm. and choose one of his choosing. And yeah. then it gets passed to me to choose one of the three, and then passed to Justin for one of the two. So you're cool. going to have these little drafts happening in between. And these are going to give you um, primarily long-term permanent effects to your hero mm -hmm. that are going to let you customise your gameplay. And they are all themed to each God. Ah. So Zeus tends to be a little bit more aggressive, mm. Athena is obviously tends to be a bit more focused on leadership and movement, mm. and then Hermes normally lets you kind of dart across the board quickly and all of a sudden you've got um, hoplites jumping two or three regions, mm -hmm. which is great. Alright, so I have four of two Zeus and two Athena cards, mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. didn't shuffle very well. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, reshuffle if you want. Yeah, there's a bit of reading in these, there's a real strategy to kind of mm -hmm. choosing the right card here because it can really set up your game style, your gameplay. And mm. um, right now, we have to constantly just keeping aware, make sure no one holds two complete lands, no one holds five temples at any one time, because people can actually just sneak a win. Yeah, um, yeah. 
<laughs> you see, that's that's what I like. You have to have that tactical overview. Yeah. John, what'd you pick? I've picked Zeus's influence. Population strength is decreased by one for your army. Oh, damn. Okay. So taking cities is one easier. Now. One yeah. easier if you got set. So the rest of these cards pass across. Yeah. So mm -hmm. standard drafting. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. You guys talk amongst yourselves. It's, it's fine. <laughs> well, what I'm having a look at here at the minute is I'm seeing you and Az are way down in the south here, ready for a bit of a scrap. There's enough monsters on here to make life interesting, but I'm just wanting to focus in and actually get a bit of land up in the north while I have peace to do it. Because I think that's that's the way I'm going to aim for this. Yep. So while I pass these over, I'll explain mm. what I've taken. I've taken an Athena blessing called Cunning Defense. So if you're a defending side in a battle, so when two hoplite armies meet, you can ignore all the casualty symbols from played combat cards. Mm -hmm. Some of the combat cards, when you're trying to balance your strength, and we'll see that soon enough, I'm sure, mm -hmm. um, have actual losses on them. Like your armies are going all out to do a wild yep. attack or charge in. Mm -hmm. You might have a lot of strength added to the combat to potentially win it, but you might have to withdraw casualties at the end. Mm -hmm. So that's going to let me use those more aggressive cards mm -hmm. without the losses. Right, and before I complete my turn, well, oh, hang on, I can, I can explain my okay, one as well. <laughs> so I've taken the battle prayer. Okay. In any battle, add an equal number of priests to your priest pool to your army strength. Ah, so however many priests you're holding at that time, you can then boost up. For strength. Right. Yeah, nice. Because I think go. that'll be useful. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, so what's your, your final play here, John? So I have to add two priests to my priest pool because I've captured. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's uh, only on the build. Only if only you get builds, one. I only get one. You're just yeah. sullying. Um, no, so you don't get any priests for capturing temples, I'm afraid. That's no, so oh, I get for building. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let me see. Goodness, so I just had, I just got an invasion, had a temple taken from me. I mean, all of a sudden mm -hmm. I have to reconsider my life choices. It mm -hmm. wasn't an invasion, we were invited. I don't believe so. You left <laughs> the gate open. A bunch was served. I think I'm going to... Um, unfortunately, I have to move one hoplite at a time, I assume. So but you do have the two leadership to get two on the move. Yeah. Um, so I think what I'd really like to do is move one into here. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to have to have a, a battle before I can then move the other one, essentially, because mm -hmm. instantly we're going to have a clash. I believe that's how we're, re we're reading in the rules. I'm not 100%. That might be slightly different. Now, um, there's, there's the question, then. Would you yeah. be better, better waiting and use your maneuver to move mm. both on at the same time and get that advantage? You know what? If you're okay with that, John, yeah, I will. I think I think I will. I'll hold off and then I think that extra one strength might be really critical. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see our first battle. Okay. So what I think I'll do then? I don't think I have a no lot priests, of places to head your to. Your hero. Now. Where's your hero? Oh, uh, my, uh, on a quest. Yeah, my hero's on a quest right now. Probably should be looking after her troops. Uh, His. <laughs> His troops. Sorry, Achilles. Apologies. Um, no, no, hang on. In, in the legends, Achilles actually did try and avoid the final battle by dressing up as a woman. That's not something I knew. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Yeah, I'm A-OK, okay. absolutely. It was, uh, actually, Odysseus came through, uh, set up a weapon stand, and as Achilles was walking past, in dressed as a woman, wow. started looking at the weapons, and Odysseus just instantly knew it was Achilles and forced him to go to the, the last battle. My word. At least, th th all right, that's, that's my broken and dumbed down version <laughs> of it. I'm sure there is a lot more detail to yeah. it than that, but that's, that's what I got from it from talking to Roma. <laughs> Okay, well, what I'll do then simply um, is I'll just simply move one hero across one region. Mm -hmm. And then I think I will go ahead and be bold. I will... Oh, I really... Oh, it's it's hard to know the right call, but I'm going to go ahead and move my armies mm -hmm. using Maneuver Special Action. What? And we're Jumping going to jump in and we're jump. going to have a battle. Okay. Okay. So what happens in a battle is we all started with one combat card, but I actually have drawn another two mm -hmm. through the preparing. And what we're going to do now is starting with the attacker... Yep. Go back and forth playing cards if we want to. So the current strength is two to one mm -hmm. for the attacker. Um, I, let me see, I'm going to add a phalanx to this, which has a strength of two, and for every two hot blights, I add another strength to my army. Mm -hmm. So this is basically adding three strength. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm currently at five. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. John then has the opportunity to either pass mm -hmm. or play a card. Mm -hmm. If he passes, that's it. He can't play anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh, and beat that. five, you have one in the region. I have one hoplite in the region. My natural strength's two. Uh, don't think you had your oh, hero. Yeah, you, this, that's the strength of your hero. All so right, unfortunately, so doesn't it doesn't work. help your hoplites here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I can use this, to be honest. Uh, does it have a strength number on it? Yeah. Yeah, but I think, if you don't mind me, 
leading along. Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, some of the the heavy attacks, you actually have a heavy attack there, an assault card. Yep. It requires you to basically have casualties of two. Yeah. You've only actually got one hoplite there, so you're exactly right. Unfortunately, yep. you can't play it. Ah, so I have to pass. Yeah. Right, which means as you win, so what yep. happens here? So what happens is, usually what would happen is John would then retreat back to a friendly area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but you always lose one hoplite. So I've actually so lost. Yep. He's dead. Exactly. Oh, and I'm going to... Rescind control. my dinner invitation <laughs> and take back control of my temple. That's a successful battle for me, so I'm going to rescind your invitation yeah. and take back my temple. And that was my special action maneuver, so mm -hmm. then it's over to you, Jesse. Um, so the first thing I am going to do is I can move one person, mm -hmm. which I will do. Uh, so up here, yeah. I will move this guy in here. Mm -hmm. I will then send my priest, mm -hmm. who I have, out to Athena that's now level 2. Okay. Because I think that's going to be useful. Because what that does is it ups my leadership. Mm -hmm. So leadership on 3 now, because mm -hmm. I had one to Athena last turn. Yeah. And then, as well as that, I get to recruit a hoplite in any one Absolutely. of my regions. Yeah, very right? nice. So I get a fifth into here. Yeah, lovely. And then what I'm going to do is move my army. Okay. Which so means I can move... The Maneuver Special Action. The Maneuver yeah. Special Action, cool. which will let me live, move all of those guys mm -hmm. one region. Cool. Which I think, if I'm right, allows me to move from here yeah. with five guys Perfect. to here and take the, the five region. Yeah, lovely. Which should do nicely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So there might be a little contention there. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's that's essentially the only place that the uh, Oracle, the, the sort of um, large shrine can be built on. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's a point of the map that's really good to hold. And if you get that initial build, you will get two priests instead of the standard one when you build a temple. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. is kind of what I'm wanting here. Okay. Uh, that was my special action, so on to yourself, John. Uh-huh. Uh, so... First thing I'm going to do is standard move mm -hmm. back to here with yep. one guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm then going to send a priest out because mm -hmm. I've got one. Yeah. Where are they going to worship? And who do I want to worship with? Let's have a look here. I have a feeling. I have a feeling Hermes is going to be the one for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is this one over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So you can sit there and you can worship Hermes mm -hmm. or the. Plateau, feet, feet, yeah, plateau. <laughs> the plateau that will soon the be Hermes. The plinth that Hermes is to be built yeah. upon. Yeah. So you'll gain that speed upgrade immediately to your hero. Mm -hmm. Yep. And let's have this up one. And I think from a special action, I'm going to move my army. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring the last two back to here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so let me have a nosy what my plan's going to be. I think... I'm going to use so move army for my regular action. I have two leadership, so I'm going to move one guy across to here uh -huh. and to Akai. I'm going to go with, uh -huh. which will give me control there. I'll then move this single guy across to here. Okay. okay. I have no priest to send, which is fine, and my hero is still unable to move up the quest track because I still haven't attained that speed of three, so that's okay. Not, uh -huh. not worrying about that too much right now. So, for my special action then, I think what I'm probably going to do is recruit. Mm -hmm. um, so, recruiting is going to give me two hoplites in each area where I control a city. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to put two here, one of which I will essentially garrison inside the city. Mm -hmm. I will then put two here again, one of which I'll garrison inside. Mm -hmm. And two more in here, everybody has a garrison. So, they will pop in there. Oh, he's getting greedy. Well, you, you brought, you know, troops to my border, you know, all of a sudden, you know, got a bit aggressive. We're on manoeuvres. It's a training exercise, I swear. <laughs> all right. Uh, done? Absolutely. That was my special action, so that ends my turn. Okay, so for myself. See, I'm kind of at a dead end here on my lands, mm -hmm. so I need to be careful of this. So what is going to happen is from where they are, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to have them move back. One guy. Yeah. Two guys. Three guys. Okay, yeah. Because that's my leadership, yeah? Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Uh, I don't have any priests at the moment to send out, mm -hmm. so I'm actually going to build the temple. Okay. Uh, well, if I use the right token, okay, it would help. Yeah. Uh, which means we'll put the big temple on there. Can you pass me that, John? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And, and that, that will, will trigger 
the draft of another round of blessings. Nice. It also gets me two priests into mm -hmm. my priest pool for next round, yeah. which is nice. So there and there, and that'll do. All right, so. Four of these off the top. So again, one for each one, player, plus two, one. Three, four. All right, so I'll quickly, I'll actually read these out for everybody. Sure, you can get a better feel. So you've got Hero's Wrath. After hero movement action, you can discard a combat card to destroy two hoplites in a region containing your hero. Wow. Use it only once per turn. Okay. Uh, we then have Gathering Forces. When using a movement, you can move all hoplites from the neighboring regions to the destination region. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Uh, then we have Population Mobilization. During Recruit Special Action, you can recruit an additional two hoplites any, into any region you control. Wow. So, so they all become like Sparta. Yeah. Well, only yeah, in just single regions. So just you'll get an extra two. No, no, no. During recruit yeah. special action, mm -hmm. you can recruit two additional hoplites into any region. So you can just have a Sparta somewhere. Uh, yeah, you'll be putting two extra units into yeah. any, but it doesn't have to have a city in it. It's two separate mm -hmm. from your normal recruitment. All right. uh, additional recruitment. If you have the fewest hoplites on the map, you can mm -hmm. recruit two hoplites into a region under your control at the beginning of your turn. Nice. Uh, I am going to go for population mobilization because I'm not letting John have so that. So that's the extra two whenever you recruit. Yes, it is. And I think that'll be very useful because it means that... Um, ah, that's the thing though. Mm -hmm. It's any region I control. So I don't yep. even need to have a city yeah, in the region. Absolutely. So I can constantly be popping guys out there. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah, these I, are... I can't do it with prepare. Gathering forces is going for me. Okay. When using maneuver, you can move all hoplites from neighboring regions into the destination region. Yeah, so you can just go. Phew, yeah, okay. if you surround someone. So I'm going to combine my kind defense with hero's wrath. So that'll be after a hero's movement action, you can discard a combat card to destroy two hoplites in a region containing your hero. Mm -hmm. And that was your temple being built. Yes. So John. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. We don't want to move. Mm -hmm. I don't have a priest to send out. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to move my hero. Okay. I'm going to assume you're going to prepare. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to prepare. But because of my Zeus's influence, I only need four in this region to take the city now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to prepare by getting one combat card, please. Mm -hmm. Nice. And one hoplite. Lovely. There you go. And you now control Sparta. Yes. You are mine. Oh my. Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay. And you see why I didn't want him getting that population mobilization? Because then he could be popping yeah. six a turn out. Definitely makes sense. Oh, it's hard to know when. It's really is with the with the variable turn length end, because mm -hmm. people can build a monument at any time, it really makes that picking your right moment pretty important. Mm -hmm. um, so John, I really can we have a gentleman's agreement? Just don't attack me for a while. <laughs> no. Where no. are you going? <laughs> didn't think so. Um, I've got a leadership of two currently. Mm-hmm. So I am going to do uh, one to here mm -hmm. and one to there also uh -huh. uh, for okay. my movement. I have no priest mm -hmm. to, to share out. And my hero, I am actually going to move away from the quest back to the region. Abandoning your quest? Yeah, so it didn't cost me anything. It's just, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm actually going to get anything. And at least now with Hero's Wrath, mm. I can exert some threat on enemy hoplites with, with him. So mm -hmm. I keep saying she with him. Mm -hmm. um, so that's okay, I, I'm definitely right with that. And I think what I'll then do is prepare. I'm going to grab Hoplite into my hero's region. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll also have a combat card, please. Okay. Uh, here you go, sir. Thank you. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, so my turn. Uh, now, this might seem a little crazy, but I know what I'm doing. So from here, uh, for one leadership. Mm -hmm. Two leadership. Oh, if I don't take the, the temple <laughs> with me, we don't do that. That would be a strange thing to do. And then from here, I'm going to have the third leadership to there. Yep. Now, that leaves this undefended, or so you would think. But I have two priests. Okay. So one of them is going to go to Athena, okay. of course. Which will grant me one leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, bringing me to four. Yep. And then... I get a hoplite mm -hmm. into your region, so Absolutely. I'll pop one here, just so you can't just take it off me. Mm -hmm. uh, my second priest. Now, do I want speed or strength here? Speed or strength? I think I'm going to go with uh, some some strength. So we'll go on to, to Zeus here. If I okay. don't pick up cards with my elbow. <laughs> too easy done. Uh, so pop your strength up by one. Mm -hmm. So strength will go to two. And now I have to pick a special action. 
What do I want to do? Hmm. You're thinking too long. Here. I'm. I'm really thinking about it. Mm -hmm. TikTok. TikTok. I'm gonna recruit. Okay. Because that'll kick in my special where I'll get the additional two. Now I've only got the one city, mm -hmm. but the additional two that yep. I can pop down, uh, I can pop them down into here, putting three there, yep. awesome. securing that, and gaining two here. Wow, fantastic! So very useful little card. Yep. Hmm. Done? Yep, I'm done. All right, over to me then. Mm -hmm. So... <sighs> <laughs> I need to figure out what on earth I'm doing. Uh, move. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move. Uh, leadership's the one. And it's not quite worth it yet. We'll go over here. Mm -hmm. So we'll take one here yeah because okay. i only need two in there to capture that Absolutely. city uh then my special action is going to be recruit there it is here comes sparta finally paying up so, yeah oh my word there's four hop lights coming in yeah Jeez, that's there. awesome oh, terrifying now, is there a max limit to how many uh hop lights you can have yeah. on the table we all have uh, 15 hop lights mm -hmm. and six priests and that's essentially your max cap okay okay that's fine and uh, so i'll move my arm i have a leadership of two so i will move uh, one to here, mm -hmm. uh, taking, taking the area. this area from you, John. Mm -hmm. and Have fun with the Sphinx. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay with that. I think it's it's a bit of a brave uh, a brave guy that just decided he was going to get in there, but I'm all right with it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think then what I'll do is I'll move my hero into here, and I'm going to go ahead and discard. Combat so card. after a hero movement action, discard a combat card to destroy two hoplites in a region containing your hero. Mm -hmm. So I'll take two of your hoplites out, please, John. Okay. Oof. Then, I have no priest to send out, but that's okay. My special action um, is going to be uh, building a monument. Oh, so you're, who so are you going to build up? Essentially, I think, this is a tough one. Um, You've got to think about it, obviously, I don't want to give you guys too many benefits as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think Athena is the one I'm going to go with. I think we're going to keep building up Athena. Let's go ahead and get her. Okay. Stage three. Here you go. If you want to pop that in. Okay. So that's the the main torso. So wow. Yeah, the bust in the head. Yeah. The the design on these is really really Gorgeous. beautiful. All right. So that should pop in, I believe, like so. Yeah. Okay. And what we'll then do is remove all the priests that are currently worshiping at monuments. Mm -hmm. And I gain a priest for every monument that I control. Every well, not control. monument. Oh, sorry, temple that I temple. control, sorry. Yeah. So I currently control, I just need to check, there's not one there. So I've got one here, mm -hmm. two there. I think that's all the ones I have. So two total, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, we then basically run on to the end of turn, which means we're going to take away our used action tokens. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to roll the monster die. Alright, so you gotta roll that. Um, we'll see if this thing's the last, because that's the one that could really hurt me. Mm -hmm. um, so, start with Cerberus. Cerberus. Okay, go for it. So he rolls a no action. Yep. So, doesn't get the chance to do anything at all, it's just a mm -hmm. no entry sign. We'll do the Minotaur. Uh-huh, roll so away. He gets a move. So, I shall move him, because I, I ended the turn with the monument building, so I get to the side. I'll move him into Sparta, please. Oh dear. He's not going to do anything just yet, mm -hmm. but in subsequent turns he could cause some... Now, right. Sphinx, Andy Sphinx, go yeah, for it. With my perfect little hoplite trying to get in there and worship, it uh, is a move or, or attack. A move or attack. I lucky. will choose move. Um, and we'll move Sphinx also into Sparta. Ah, okay. Oh my goodness. Um, so that. It's getting a little busy in the song. Yeah, it's quite lucky that I decided that I was going to end the turn, so I got to make the choices there. Had it been yourself, Justin, doing it, I could have ended up with some losses. Yep. Yeah. Um, so that's the end of my turn. Okay, so for my turn. And I have a leadership of four, mm -hmm. which is perfect for what I want to do. Yeah. Uh, the northern expansion is about to begin. So for... Sorry, forgive me. You go ahead. One. <laughs> My guys are falling over. Two. And three. I will take control of this area, which is a C. Yeah. I have a fourth. So I will put someone else into here. Okay. I think that'll be the way to go with it. Yeah. Uh, after that, I have no priest yet. So what I will do for my special action is I will move my army, which allows me to move any number of units I like okay. from one region yep, to another. Yeah? Yep. So what I'm going to do there 
is from where I am, these guys mm -hmm. are going to go one yeah. and two, yeah. taking control of another region, okay. which should be good for me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll be done at that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. John. Uh, normal move. Shift one hoplite into here, take this region. Yeah. Again, those mm -hmm. blessings doing work, making that a two population instead of three for you. It's great. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to pop recruit. Okay. Oh my goodness. So, so just bringing, bring in the masses. Four in Sparta. Four more in Sparta. And two in, where's that? Argolis. Argolis. Yeah, don't forget to put your two in there as well, bud, because you've got that city now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Planned out. You can yeah. always put one into the city as a, for a defensive yeah. bonus if you want, but it does well, mean I if you ever I'll... want to move them out, mm -hmm. you have to move them into the region before you can then yeah. move on. Yeah. So, I'll go ahead and do my send priest first of all. Mm -hmm. um, can you please, Justin, pop that yeah, yeah. on Athena? Oh, oh. sorry. So she's don't stage, drop priests. yeah, three now. Yeah. So that'll give me a leadership yeah. and recruit two hopolites. To any of your regions. Any of my regions. Which is nice. Um, yeah, very nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me have a I'm going to do that here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. um, then I have move army options, so leadership of three now. So mm -hmm. I will do um, one, mm -hmm. uh, two, actually, yeah, let's do three. We'll be just fine like that. Mm -hmm. then, wow, that, that, that yeah. army massing up my, my southern border. Yeah, it's chilling. <laughs> it's chilling. Um, one thing to bear in mind, just to make sure you guys are, are, are aware, you have your special ability as well, so remember to mm -hmm. keep that in the game. Not only do you have a starting bonus that makes each character unique, we have a, a, a special ability. So just to make everyone aware of mine, Achilles actually gets to add his speed or strength, whichever's lowest, to mm -hmm. the battle of the region he's currently in. So uh -huh. when there's hoplites fighting, he can he actually them. help them out. So okay. what I'm going to do, because I am scared of John, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use my hero move to move one back to here, and I think I'll just chill there. Okay. Just hopefully Achilles might be able to help defend marginally if it mm. comes to that. Mm. Okay. Um, so that was my done my, my, my worshipping of course. I've done my movement of my army, done the movement of a hero. So from mm. my special action, yep. um, I think what I shall do it's tough to say quite what's best, but I think I'm going to there's no point really recruiting, I've only got two hoplites mm. on my board. So recruiting's really gonna do not a lot for me. Um, I'm not prepared to start a hunt. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to build a temple anywhere. So I think I'm going to maneuver. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move an army across this mm. bridge. Four versus five versus six versus two. Yep. Okay, I see how it's going to be. That's it. And we're now going to have the battle. Mm. So I am four currently. Yep. You're two. Um, I. I'm going to play Phalanx, same as I played previously, which is adds two strength, and for every two hoplites, you add another strength. Um, I will do nothing. Okay, seems fine. So you'll lose a hoplite. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to retreat. And you have to retreat friendly. the other hoplite. Yeah, exactly. So there and there. So I will gain control mm -hmm. of this territory. Yep. I'll give you that. So that's fine. And that was my special action, so that's going to end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for myself, I think what I have to do here, you've kind of forced me into a corner a little bit. A little so bit, from yeah. Where I am here, I'm going to go one move, mm -hmm. two move, mm -hmm. three move, just to make this a little more secure. Yeah. In fact, I'll actually just go four because yeah. I don't want to lose my temple. One thing I'll say, just because actually, I didn't, didn't think we picked up on this, but you actually control a region which has one of the monuments in it. Oh yeah. yeah. So you actually have con a bonus right now. It didn't. It wouldn't have affected anything mm. so far. But if you want to read out what Zeus's yeah. monument does, so I control Zeus's mon monument, and because of that, I lower the attack value of all monster attack cards by one. Yeah. So, so it's a little extra until you start hunting down using your special action to actually hunt monsters. That's not going to have an effect until you do that. Mm -hmm. But that will pass about depending on who is controlling each of the regions with the monuments in it, and that's the only one. That's the first yeah. time one of those got taken up. Yeah. Now uh, I don't have. Uh... I don't have any priests, so I, I want priests. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a temple. Sure. Uh, just because it's it's really really good to have one. So John, pass me a temple. And where is your temple going? And we will have a draft again. Yep. Temple's going up here. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, another draft. All right. 
So we get another draft for a special ability. Which right, blessing of the gods. Yep. Four. So I just well, you have to quickly rem remind people of the win conditions. So mm -hmm. there hasn't been a lot of monster fighting here. So th no. the slaying the three monsters doesn't look like any of us are going down that route. And mm -hmm. um, you feel free. Are you only going to read them out? I, I will once sure. you're done here. And the other one then is to control two complete lands, so two complete sets of colors, which. Justin was kind of getting towards, so I think I had to make a move in there. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is to control five temples. Again, Justin, you were actually moving pretty nicely towards that. Um, so that would have been great. And the final one would have been then for a monument to reach stage five and whoever holds the most city. So already we have Athena at three out of five, so that yeah. could materialize soon. Mm -hmm. So what have we got blessing-wise? Okay, so uh, heroic presence. If your hero is in the same region where a battle is taking place, add two to your army strength. Nice. Uh, you've got Murderous March. When using maneuvers, you can move your army to any region on the map but must destroy two hoplites hop from that army. Any region on the map? My goodness. Yeah. Chucking, sacrificing guys to move them faster. Uh, I love it. We then have Athena's Gift. Mm -hmm. After winning a battle, add one priest to your priest pool. Wow. Or cunning strategy. After a battle, you can ignore uh, the casualty symbol from one chosen combat card. Okay, cool. So I think I, for myself, I'm going to go for Heroic Presence. So that's the added strength whenever you're heroes. Strength, yeah. yeah, just what okay. I want. I like that. A bit of inspiration from the hero helping the hoplites yeah. fight well. You see, all of my cards seem to be Athena based right now, which quite is quite nice. Quite defensive. Yeah, mm. quite reactive. Yeah. I am expecting at a moment's notice to get absolutely destroyed. Yeah, yeah John <laughs> might sweep up through the south there. Yeah. What did you take? Murderous March. Yeah, color. I thought oh, as much. Oh, so you can go to any region for the cost essentially of two hoplites. Mm hmm. And he can just keep pumping them out. Oh yep. my word. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to take the Athena's gift for after winning a battle, you can add a priest to your priest pool. Because they are incredibly useful. Yeah, they very much are. And they, again, the priests building up the monuments um, as well are going to bring an end to the game more quickly by the cities. Yeah. Okay, so that was your temple. Special mm -hmm. action. Oh, John. John. I'm scared now. I, that's... <laughs> I, that's... Mm -hmm. You'll be fine-ish. A little bit. This is about, we're just about to lift and drop Sparta somewhere. Oh, not yet. Oh, yeah. not yet. This, this, this just feels like old school airdrop. Yeah. You know, yeah. They don't know how to use parachutes. <laughs> no. So just for every 10 we drop, we lose two, but that's okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. First up, uh -huh. I'm going to do a standard move uh -huh. to take Corinthia off you. No! Uh -huh. Come ahead. I rescinded the invitation. Well... <laughs> I wanted that dinner very much. <laughs> the wine looked amazing. I did let it breathe, <laughs> give it a little whisk. <laughs> really? You whisk wine? Whisk your wine. Aerate it. Yeah. I've we, never heard of this. <laughs> he doesn't drink wine, though. No, 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 it tastes like I'm drinking flowers. <laughs> okay. I have no it palate. shouldn't, <laughs> considering it's made out of grape. <laughs> what is next? It just tastes, it, I don't know, it just tastes flowery to me. It tastes of flowery. I have no palate. Okay. I have okay. burnt out my tongue over the we'll years of just to... eating horrible, horrible, greasy food. We'll have to explore that. Oh my word. Tastes oh god. Oh flowers. my. Uh... Gone ahead, John. Okay. So you've done your move. Yes. Uh... Special move. No. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Going for the murderous march. No. Or, or it could be really annoying and end the turn. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a monument. You okay. think just recruiting, ending recruiting, ending building up those forces is yeah, what? Are, what are you gonna build on then? Who is it gonna be? It's going to be Hermes. 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 Okay. Let me find. Yeah. Perfect. Here. We've so got him. And when you look at the cards, you'll know exactly why I'm doing that. So Hermes. Here are Hermes lags. At stage one, Hermes will give you an extra speed to your hero. At stage two, which is currently at, he will let you gain an extra speed, but also move your army by a region. Oh, now there's an important question. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't get to use him, is he still in my pool? For he is indeed, round? yeah. The so priest I... carries on until your pool. Ah, so until you... Yeah, until, him essentially, up. yeah. You've got, you've got four Fantastic. slots for your priest pool. I lose my little priest from Athena. He has done Ooh. his work this round and will go away until I recruit again. Yeah, and you have one in your pool anyway. Uh, I do indeed. Mm -hmm. Any temples you control, John? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, I've captured you just, yeah. You'd almost think you planned it out. So you're going to get a priest for that? Yep. And get one in there. And then we're going to clear off our special actions. Mm -hmm. Clear those away. Use action types. And then we're going to have the monsters. I am quite surprised because this could be horrifying. Horrifying for you. So, what monster are you doing? Uh, Minotaur, Sphinx, or Cerberus? Minotaur first. Minotaur. 
attacks. Oh What's it do? The Minotaur's region attack. Destroy one Hoplite and one Priest from the player controlling the region. Oof. Oh, we had such a short priesthood. It's fine. It's only a Hoplite. Yeah. I don't, I don't think uh, Heracles is really caring about the cloth right now. I think mm. it's more the steel. Yeah. 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 Is that it? Uh, Sphinx. Sphinx. So okay. let's see Sphinx. what Sphinx gets. Sphinx moves. No! <laughs> no, wait, no. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. Clever. Hello. Okay. That's scary. And now to Cerberus. Cerberus, yep. yeah. Does Nada. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. Yes. Wow, he's been quite calm. We've had the two team heads. No, one, no one's thrown a ball at him yet. No. no, no he's... I, you see, this is the thing. I just quietly sent a little musician up there with a fiddle, just quietly sawing on it to keep <laughs> me asleep. It's fine. Everything's good. Uh -huh. So that was your special action. Yep. So passed around to myself then mm -hmm. for Achilles. Okay. So I've got some big decisions to make now. Things are about to get fun. Mm. Um, we've got. Oh, I see. I wasn't really ready for you to end the turn. Now I've got a full suite of moves again. Now I have to really think it through. So I'm just going to take a quick second to overview the board mm -hmm. and see. My hero also now has a monster, but I've only got one combat card. I'm really not sure that's something I want to be getting involved with. Um, I think, first of all, nice and simple, I'm going to send a priest. Mm -hmm. I think what I'll do with the priest, mm, it's really, do I want to start fighting monsters? It might be getting artifacts. Could be very useful long term, but I'm not sure how long this is going to go. I'm going to send my priest over to Athena, please, just okay. if you can. So Athena so... stage three, so that'll be my leadership by one. Yep. And give me two hoplites, my yep. last in two hoplites. Any friendly region of yours. In any region I control. Um, so you could really lock it down here in the middle if you want it. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that, although I'm also thinking, I don't know what John's about to do to me. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, it could get really, really, really bad. You also could put one in here and start moving for Attica. Yeah, but you're not that way. You're this way. Why yeah, would I but want to do that? Attica has <laughs> the Athena monument in there, and then you would get her bonus card to add plus one to your army strength value. Yeah, but... You're this way. We just thought that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> giving you tactical options. No, I do. I uh, I do appreciate it, and actually, it's not a bad call. But I'm going to put them here. Mm -hmm. um, right on the border. Right on the border. Just chilling. I think I might mm -hmm. have to give up my tea party location. Unfortunately, that's just something I might have to come to terms with. Yeah. So I've a leadership of four now. So let's do army movements. So let's mm -hmm. do one. Uh huh. And two. And you take control. I absolutely do. I will then. Let me see. I'm leave these guys just where they are. Mm -hmm. I don't think of any other easy movement I want to take advantage of. So, actually, you know what? Let's pop him into the city. Why not? Okay. He's not going anywhere. He might as well hop in yep. for an extra and one bonus. You can build a shrine there. Uh, I don't have control of it. I've never actually got the four required to over to get the populace ah. on my side. Yeah. All right, but you can still garrison the building. Yep, absolutely can. Okay. Um. So I'm not going to use my fourth move, and I don't think I have anything else I'd like to do. Okay. And uh, so we've done the priest, done the movement. My hero. Oh my goodness, my hero's just going to relax. I think. Okay, my hero's <laughs> I think be be best option. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. he's going to just play it cool, play it cool. And um, so for my special action, then, um, I think it might be time. My goodness, it might be time to start a hunt. I just don't know if I'm strong enough. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'll prepare for the hunt. Okay. I'm going to draw two combat cards, please. Okay. And me and that Sphinx, a time is a coming mm -hmm. when we're going to battle. Now, the maximum you can have combat cards in your hand at any time is four. Yep. Mm -hmm. The only exception is when you do start a hunt, you will uh, draw your strength in combat cards to start off the hunt as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going mm -hmm. to start with my priest. Yeah. And I'm going to go with Athena. Yeah. Because that will now max out my leadership to five. Yeah. And let me put down two hoplites, mm -hmm. which I am quite happy with. Uh, those two hoplites are going to go right here <laughs> into this region. I agree, hoplite sandwich there. My <laughs> hero yeah. is going to move. Okay. And my special action yeah. is usurp. Oh, nice. Okay. So, because you started mm -hmm. with Perseus, you gained the glory, the, the legendary hero token. Yeah. Which means you didn't have to kill a monster to your quest to get that. Yeah. So you're basically pushing me completely out of there. Yeah. Um, I thank goodness can withdraw mm -hmm. safely. A, if a friendly I, place. Yeah, if I didn't have a friendly location to withdraw to, mm -hmm. I essentially would have lost everybody there. And I get to place one hoplite and I will have him garrison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. you get control of that region now. Yeah. So pop a wee token oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. 
Lovely. Yeah, first time I've seen a usurp there. So usurp does require that you have that glory token matching the color. So you've got the, the yellow one mm -hmm. for that land. So yeah. it worked out perfectly for you there. Um, luckily, I could escape, which was great. Mm -hmm. But normally, you wouldn't have those glory tokens so until you've done something. John, what if John was at your back? You couldn't escape then? Yeah, my units would be completely wiped out if they had no safe region to, to withdraw to. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, uh, that'll be me then, because that was usurp. Mm -hmm. Hey, John, old buddy, old pal. How you doing? <laughs> uh, first up, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a standard move way out to here. Okay. Uh -huh. I can claim that. Yep. Oh, fantastic. That blessing, my goodness, doing work. Very so useful. Instead of two populace needed, just the ones that hop like goes and meets and greets. Yep. Yep. You could build a shrine there. I could. But I don't want to waste my special action. <laughs> it's, it's really not a waste, though, because that's not what I'm planning. No, the thing, I don't think the religion stance is what uh, Heracles is currently vying for. Mm. No, very much not. <laughs> right, as it stands at the minute, tactically, I'm in a bad position because as currently has in one region seven groups mm -hmm. of hoplite, I cannot at the minute do that using my special murderous march sure. and all that. Yeah. I can't touch that. What I can touch, though... Easy, tiger. What, and what I am going to wipe out. <laughs> um, oh no, actually no, that'll be a bad point to. You do realize yeah. you could just march right to here, dropping two, taking Athena. Because you get plus one to your army strength value, and you control that area. I could. And then you can build another shrine there. And you have more. He always wants you to build shrines. Why are you? This is the thing. thing. He really wants me to build shrines. This really thing, build. John. You have completely ignored the gods during this game. Yes. <laughs> this feels really strange to me because I've upgraded my leadership to max now. Right. Mm. That means where you're just moving one guy about at the start of every turn, mm -hmm. I'm shifting five. But you've been held in. Your shifting hasn't done that much for you. Yeah, because you've lined up against me going, yeah, oh wait, yeah, so I know there's danger here. I think you need to worship the gods if you require their help. If you're if you're able to murderously march everybody everywhere, you might not necessarily need the gods. I don't think, I think that's meant to be here. Huh? I don't know how I took that. Uh, which one did you take? Um, uh, I think, if I remember right, I got... Oh no, I got this region, this yeah, region. I didn't get into I this one. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so. Apologies. <laughs> don't know how that I hope got that's right. I hope that's right. Yep. Uh, I'm not if, meaning to take if, territory off If, if it's not, <laughs> someone will notice. It'll be fine. Uh, although it does mean I only need to take two regions there and to win. a third here. Ah, and a third there, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll stop it doing that. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> Got my back. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you're at his back. Hey, that's fine. Uh, right, I'm going to maneuver. Normally or murderously? Murderously. Okay. So this is the blessing that's allowing you to do so this. This is everybody out of one region, basically. Yeah. Is shifting. You will have to lose two. I will lose two. Lights. So I'll leave them. I don't I don't want to look where are these are going. Oh god. What's he just sit there, would you? We're gonna form a battle line up here. Hello. Mm hmm And you will take that area. Most definitely. And gain this card. Yes. Lovely. And your last two hoplites then just get destroyed. Yeah, they're but they can come back next they time. They absolutely can. Or you can just recruit right now. Uh, no, that no, was his that was my special action. Ah, uh, whoops. Yeah. Oh my. Well, that changes things again for me. Um, all of a sudden, things have gotten a bit nasty. Mm -hmm. um, just make sure you know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> I recognise them. Um, okay. Let's see. So, um, actually, John is one blue area away from winning this game. He currently holds. Oh, no, two. Yeah, yeah, he currently holds the grey and yeah. the grey are in the bottom right, um, and yeah, those two would be the win. Yeah. Um, I am going to use my four leadership mm -hmm. to go one, two, three. Oops, uh -huh. it is my goodness. Fingers are not working with me today, and we'll grab that territory. Mm -hmm. And my fourth, uh, my fourth will simply be to move one back from here. Into here. Okay. So that was my move army. I have no priest to send to monuments, and my hero. I need a hero. Put in a hero. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not going to do anything. That's going to be so. stuck in my head the rest of the day. Thanks. Oh, sorry, sorry. And uh, everybody out there, you've just put it into everybody out there's head. <laughs> I hope people know more words than I did. I lasted what? Four words? <laughs> uh, well, I need a hero? Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, my hero's not going to go anywhere. I think uh, Achilles is his running days are currently behind him. Mm. Um, so I'm going to build a temple. Mm-hmm. And if I can please have the temple for here, John, if you don't uh-huh. mind. Thank you so much. No, and no, yeah, no right blessing there. this time. Not be, no, yeah, no, no blessing draft because specifically on the track there are slots when it happens. Mm-hmm. That will give me a priest. And over yourself. Jay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is from where I am, I'm going to move one. Mm-hmm. Two, three, and four. Lovely. To take control of this area. Yeah, so there's a city there as well, um, even though there's not a, a little token on the board. There. Yeah, it does I have a say. Um, and then I will go. Well, there's no point doing that. So I'll move this guy to here. Yeah. For the fifth. Cool. And then. Oh, actually, I get this as well. So because yeah. I took control of that, that mm-hmm. second guy. Could actually move two if so I really want to. What does that do to. for you? Uh, your hoplites can move two regions with the the hoplite movement action. Okay. Which is fine by me. Mm, and then for my special, I'm going to use maneuver to actually sort of balance out my forces here okay. a little bit because I, I need to keep that front line sort of firm. <laughs> so I'm going to split this by three. Okay. Which I think is fine. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, mm-hmm. John. Yeah. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Heracles, what you got? I want just while John's having to think. If Aye. you think back, mm. you know, to the start of this game, just look at this board now. Yeah. So Whenever you've got, yeah, you've got Hermes it, has come up. Athena is up to stage three, so we're still missing her spear and shield, which could mm. have come along. Heroes are spread out. The monsters haven't done a huge amount, but they have been bothering Sparta. Mm. Quests. I really wish I could have completed it, but I couldn't ignore what was happening on the mm. front there. And um, so we have we've yet to see the artifacts, and we've yet to see any kind of big monster battles. Mm. But still, so much has happened on the board. Well, we're all, all kind of working at two different ways to win. Mm-hmm. So the four ways to win is just, I love it. It's something fantastic about this game. Mm-hmm. Right, standard army move. Okay. One hoplite into Corinthia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Forming up the border. Yep. Okay. And special action this turn is going to be build a temple. Aha, oh, at last. Oh, where are you building your temple? Uh, Down in the corner? Right here. Nice. Okay. So that's going to be another draft. Yeah. No, it's not. No, uh, no, oh, no draft no, for that one. Yeah. No. Yeah, one number six wasn't. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so over to myself. How many temples do we each control? Um, oh my goodness. I've got three. I've As got has one, two, two. two. I've one. one. Yeah, okay. Oh, I've two. Two, yeah. All right, it's just to make sure we don't accidentally have someone win via the temple route yeah, and so not realise it. temples would be a straightaway yeah. instrument, so... Yeah. That's two there. I wasn't, I wasn't trying for that. That's not something that could have possibly happened. Well, I've kept stealing this one off. I know. I yeah, know, that I has know. to be so annoying if that's what you're going um, for. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Mm, my goodness, tough, tough, tough decisions. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I'm really struggling with what I want to do here. I need to start having some impact and start taking some territories. Mm-hmm. So I think my movement of my army has got four leaderships. So we'll do one. Mm-hmm. We'll do two. We'll do three. Okay. And then... We will do four. Okay. To there. All right. Will I? Will I do four to there, or will I just garrison him? Let's just garrison him. I'm scared of the murderous marching, teleporting mm-hmm. madness. So let's just garrison him instead. I love that. For my hero, I'm going to keep where it is. For my priest, I don't think I want to use my priest just yet. Yeah. So what I'm going to do instead is build a monument. Oh. What yeah. one are you going to build? So I'm going to build up. Zeus. 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 Okay, so let's get his legs. Let's get his little robes there as we right, build. That's his first tier two. Okay, so, so is it? No, it is that way. this way. Oh, it's like a USB. You have to try uh, three times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Zeus is now up to level two. So yeah. anybody that prays to him is now going to get an additional combat card as well as strength. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab you. Mind grab my priest, please, Justin. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'll grab my own one. Yeah, thank you. There you thank go. You, okay. And uh, no priests for me. Uh, yeah, so everyone. You get your two temples worth there. Yeah, I get two temples worth of priests. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to do the monsters. I think I just realised actually. I think potentially we forgot an event card last time. Ah, so we we'll did. definitely do it this yeah. time. It's not yeah. hopefully not going to impact things too badly. Yeah. Apologies so, for that. Do it's, it's it's we'll do the monster uh, before the event. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where's the? There it, there is. it is. Lovely. Okay. So uh, Cerberus, Cerberus about to do something exciting. Finally, maybe potentially is going to move. move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's 
Ah! <laughs> Hello? Just dwarfs the entire city. Mm -hmm. Okay, hopefully service will, next turn we'll get some yummies. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do the Sphinx, please. Nothing too badly. My hero, a city, and a hoplite is joined by the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Move. Move. So gun ahead, where do you want to put it? In with John. Yeah. Ah, okay. And the Minotaur Minotaur mm -hmm. is going to... Mini, mini, mini door. Is going to move. move as well. Um, let's have him move back to Crete, please. I don't really want him involved. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 And then we draw an event card. Yep. So let's so. see what we get. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Oh, can, <laughs> we, can we not have this? No. This is Medusa. Okay. Oh, my so word. A new monster. New monster. If you want to grab her and have a, a quick nosy. Oh, wow. Uh, I will grab Medusa's monster card. We need to make a bit more space here. She's holding a Spartan. Yeah, she, she is turning to stone. Where's coming she into Attica. Attica? So, right where. Right, the statue me. monument of Athena is. <laughs> Whoops. I'm trying not to drop miniatures, Justin. So, quick point of note Medusa has a passive ability. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Not only when she attacks does she kill two hoplites, but she has a constant passive that hoplites cannot move out of the region with Medusa in it. Ah. She is stone gazing the region. So, that was actually really lucky for you, Az. That's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. She. Does have a reward of blood of Medusa, so essentially we still we haven't been fighting. I think I might start to try and take down some monsters shortly. Mm -hmm. So that was the end of my round. That was the building of the monument. We raised up Zeus. We had the event. We had all the monsters do their thing. Justin's on to you. Okay. Um, well, guys, I think I've won. Oh, oh, wow! I think I've figured it out. So I have my leadership of five, right? Yep. So what's going to happen is uh, from here, mm -hmm. uh, because I can move two regions. Yep. One, two. Yeah. One, two, and mm -hmm. that's two leadership. Yeah. And just bring all these guys in here. Yeah. So I now control this. Yeah. Then for my special action, I'm going to... Oh, no, I already... Oh, no, you just built a monument. I just so this built gets the monument. Clear. Yeah. So I will maneuver, moving everybody from yeah. here. And whenever they move from here yeah. to here, I take control of that, and I have two regions. You currently have all the regions in two lands giving you the victory. Very nicely played, sir. I didn't even see that coming. That's why I actually wanted to start a war. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there was a real line. Me looking south and north, ready to be in the middle of a, mm -hmm. a death sandwich there. Mm -hmm. No. You see, I was just looking at it going, do I really need to get in mixing it up if those guys are just working away on it? Yeah. Let you guys work away on it. I had considered actually trying to be sneaky mm -hmm. and going to Athena to build her next level to see if you guys would notice. Mm -hmm. To actually see if that you wouldn't think, oh, I can just end that and put the last slot yeah. on it. I think, yeah, we left you alone too much up there to kind of mm -hmm. freely re in around those uh, northern territories. Yeah, but uh, being able to knock you back out was very yeah. useful. The usurp action there, and that was using Perseus's initial glory token. Yeah. Um, whereas Achilles gets the speed and Heracles gets the strength. Mm -hmm. You used that very well there. Yeah, I, I had a, a backup plan as well. Oh, that's good to salt the wind there, because that's no, not it's, required. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's just so you can see what I was thinking as well. Because of his special ability, after using Prepare Special Action, place Perseus any re on any region in the map that's not a movement, right? Okay, yeah. So I was going to do was I was going to move him down to here. Mm -hmm. Then actually get... Uh, wait for a round, mm -hmm. use Prepare again, drop four in there, knock John out of there. Yeah. Then move him to another temple and do the same again. Yeah. And then win by five uh, temples. Yeah, so utilizing Perseus' ability to fly around the map, basically, mm. with his... What lets him do that? It's his, it's his special, special ability? ability yeah, but nice. it's specifically after prepare. Nice, okay. So it would be a, it's a three-round move to yeah. actually try and do that, and that's plenty of time for you guys to actually try and swing back yeah, and realize what I'm doing. As you said, you're counting the temples and keeping track of those four. It is a little bit tricky. I almost feel like some way to track the current number of temples and stuff on the board would be really handy. Mm. Um, this this, this is why I like those little 3D pieces, because yeah. they make it a l so much clearer. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, can I, can, I, can I build the rest of Zeus? Uh, yes, you can build the rest can I, of can Zeus. I, like, you just got to see this. Oh, yeah, goodness. because it's beautiful. Honestly, um, uh, uh, I will get the rest of uh, Hermes. <laughs> I'm going to just take a second to just enjoy yeah. the robed wi wielding Zeus. Mm -hmm. Pop him up here. They are beautiful. They are absolutely just, they stunning. They just dominate the board once yeah. they're up there. This if one's we, a little bit If funny. I move some of the stuff out of the way, just because the board is so busy here. But there up. is him, Hermes, running and running yep. and running with the winged sandals, which are actually little jet engines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zeus, yeah, you're right with that 
big look, turn that look at that lightning that's rip. just awesome yeah if you want some big centerpiece minis to paint this is definitely a game to they check look out. great painted up in like granite or marble or yeah. even just like bronze if you wanted to go that way oh yeah um, that'll be good but you see what you could do is you could do one resolution red copper mm. uh hermes in like a gold mm. and uh athena Blue. in silver yeah, oh, silver would be good for the blue. Yeah, I like that. And then you could it's have that across the board. Detail, maybe. Yeah. Possibly, possibly. Uh, I had a lot yeah. of fun with that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Really looking forward to this hitting Kickstarter and taking a look at all the detail, the stretch goals, seeing just how many of these models. I know they're already talking about doing a day one Kickstarter special where you can get oh. Leonidas. Oh. If you do back it on day one, the model for that looks stunning. Mm. So they're already looking like there's potential expansions for the heroes you could potentially use, and that little asymmetry, asymmetrical effect changes yeah. the whole thing, which is lovely. Yeah. Now there is a couple of things we didn't see during this game. Yeah. Which is monster fight. Mm -hmm. uh, we did see hoplite fights. Yeah. I think actually, yeah, it was just monster fights just and completing quests that we yeah. didn't see. The quests are very simple because. Once you actually start praying to the gods and actually meeting those requirements, yeah. depending on what the quest is, you can get through them pretty quickly Absolutely. and get the bonuses. Uh, but the, the real key to this game for me was let you guys just duke it out. <laughs> yeah, I think with adding a fourth player into this as well and having that extra, um, mm -hmm. not so the two guys can't can distract while one person runs away would be great as well. Mm -hmm. We didn't get to see the myth voting system, which can be great. It can result yeah. in nice things like the Olympic Games are going to come up and you're going to have really? to compare stats. You're going to get basically like peace treaties and people have to vote on whether hoplites are going to stop attacking each other for a round. Mm -hmm. And that's all done through an up and down voting system. Oh, so is it a blind thing where we would all put the fist Essentially in? Essentially all the fist in and together <laughs> and up, up or down. Or down. Ah. Um, so you get that kind of... Um, emperor kind of feel, I guess, a little bit. Um, so yeah, so there's even more to this game, which I just love. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, guys, that is Lords of Helios. Uh, get your comments in below. Did you enjoy that playthrough? Are you looking forward to the Kickstarter? Do you love the minis? I love the minis in this. Get those comments in below. We will move on and we will see you in the next one. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.